Now we're going to answer the last two questions, okay? Is it important where I go to church? And is it important if I go to church? Okay? Now, let's see. You remember we had those like 120 disciples before in Acts chapter 1. And now 3,000 get baptized. So now it's 3,120. It's pretty remarkable. All right, let's pick it up in verse 42. So, um, Talani, can you read this one for us, bro? We're going to read verse 42 to 47. All right, bro. Um, it says they devoted them. <coughs> excuse me. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All of the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Wow. Thanks, T. All right. So, so now what do you see develop? This looks like, um, well, this is, this is the church. This is, this, is how people, this is how it's supposed to be. Exactly. This is the blueprint to Pelo of what the church should look like, right? What were they devoted to? Um, the apostles' teaching, right? That would be our New Testament, right? Exactly. The fellowship, the breaking of bread, right? You know, when they take communion together and to prayer. And it says here, they are filled with awe. The apostles are doing incredible signs and wonders. And look at verse 44. It says, all the believers were together, had everything in common. So that's powerful. I mean, when you go to churches today, do you see everyone that have, the, do they all have the same convictions? No, no, they don't. No, I think it's like everyone's riding on the coattails of the past. Exactly. And so the key thing is that that's why actually we do these Bible studies, Sabello, so that everyone in the church has the same conviction, the same life, the same doctrine. And it's pretty cool. Like, um, on our, at our midweeks, like you've been coming to, right? You've seen me like teach the disciples how to teach these studies, right? So it's not just information. You're learning how to be effective as a teacher. And so um, look at verse 45. They're, they're, they're selling their possessions and goods. Why do they do that? Um, well, you said it, right? They didn't, um, they didn't go home. Exactly, exactly. Can you imagine going to a conference, <laughs> finding out that you're not saved, and they're like, oh, snap. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, I got to get right. So they all get back. They, they, they decide to repent, get baptized, and they're like, you know what? We're staying here. Can you imagine? So now they're selling stuff, making sure that everyone is taken care of. Is that awesome right there? And then it says, every day they continue to meet together in the temple courts. So what do you think they were doing? I don't know. I, I don't get that one. I don't get that. One. I'm not sure. Were they just kind of, why would they go to the temple? I mean, they're not sacrificing goats and sheep and stuff. I mean, Jesus is the sacrifice, right? Exactly. So what do you think they were doing in the temple in the temple courts area? I don't know what, but sharing their faith. Look at you. Look at that. Even when you're guessing, you got it. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold your spot here. Turn over to Matthew. Matthew. Let's see what the Bible says here. In Matthew 26, look what it says here in verse 55. Looks like these, the apostles really taught them a lot, right? Because it says many other words. They must have taught them a lot of stuff. It wasn't just like, hey, you know, just jump in. There was a lot of stuff they taught them. In Matthew 26, verse 55, look what Jesus says here. At that time, Jesus said to the crowd, am I leading a rebellion that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I sat in the temple courts teaching and you did not arrest me. Oh, so guess what? What were they doing every day? They were teaching. They were teaching the Jews that were in the temple courts area, just like Jesus did. When Peter was preaching, he was calling them to the example of Jesus. That's what they were doing. They were sharing their faith every day, teaching people. Is that awesome right there? Wow. Okay, so they brought their bread in their homes. They ate together, praising God. And it says, that's why, look down in verse 47. The Lord added to their number daily. See, because they were sharing daily, people were being added daily. Is that awesome? Man, I don't see churches doing this at all. So, so, what, so what do you see here, Tapello? 
I mean, what do you see about how God's church should look like? Wow. Um, well, first of all, everybody's got to be a disciple, right? They all have to repent of their sins and be baptized into Christ. And I did notice something too. It must have been a very diverse church because you had these people from all these different nations. They were all nations coming to this church. Exactly right. Exactly right. So the church what must have been diverse. They were um, devoted to God's word, the fellowship, the teachings, right? Prayer. They were evangelistic. They were sacrificial. I mean, this is incredible. And it was growing, right? That's the way God's church needs to be. And so does it matter where we go to church? Of course it does. I see it's clear. I mean, yeah, I mean, so, so going to the church down the street just because it's convenient, right? Is that okay? No, I want to go to God's church. I want to go to a place where they're actually making true disciples and baptizing. Them. I'm grateful God brought me to you. Amen. Well, you know what, man? See, you weren't quite feeling that when I threw you with a Siranagi the other day, but it's okay. It's okay, right? Now you're fired up. So that, that's the way it needs to be. All right.